Hello Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I'm going to be taking a look at what is going on for you in your situation with you and the person that is on your mind. Whenever you come across this reading will be the right time for you to see it. And as always, take what resonates and leave out the rest since this is a message meant for the collective. Um, use your own intuition here. And if by the end of this reading you're still needing some more messages or confirmation, um, if you're interested in personal readings, that information I'll leave in the description box below for you guys. But you can always take a look at your other placements as well. That's always going to be an option, an option for you. Excuse me. Okay, let's see what's happening for you. Oh, I'm seeing um, in the past here. You have you have invested a lot into someone and you were left feeling stabbed in the back by this person, heartbroken. Um, you felt a sense of pain. A, there's been a separation, even feeling deceived, mis misled. Things have been shocking. Could be a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus that you're dealing with here. Um, so I see that you've been really in your head about this um, person. You've been having fears. Fears have come up. Nerves have come up. You felt stuck with this person for some of you. Not knowing what's to come. Not knowing... Um, not knowing what's this person's true intention. So that's what I'm hearing is intention. What is the intention behind this? You feel like you can't see it. You're unsure. Um, somebody was a bitch. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. Somebody was a bitch. Somebody was just plain out rude or mean and you didn't see it coming. You were blindsided by this. And this could have, have to do with another person um, in the picture. But you didn't see it coming. You definitely didn't see it coming here. Um, what you believed wasn't true. Somebody wasn't... Some sort of promise was, was not completed. It wasn't made. The Hierophant reversed. Nothing changed. Nothing really changed. So let's take a look at you right now, Aries. Also, um, on the brighter side of things, Aries, I see that you in the past have gained some form of security for yourself. King of Discs, right? So security, um, luxury, Grounding, grounding yourself. You've been grounding yourself. Spending time outdoors. I'm seeing that you're taking action. You're taking action towards an investment. I'm seeing you're taking action towards something that you've been waiting for. And this has to do with a heart with a key. Welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart and getting together and perfect. So there is someone who you're taking action towards. And I do not see that it is someone from the past. I'm seeing you making a move here. You're making a move and you are cleaning things up. I see you getting ready. Um, I see you, I see some sort of movement. You could be traveling. I'm also getting that you are, you're being very direct towards what it is that you want. And you're going all in divine timing. You're meeting someone. 
there's someone that you're meeting here be feeling like you you have met the one who you've been waiting for i'm seeing a reward to an investment that you have done even seven months back or a few years ago you're gaining some sort of reward and you're taking action towards towards claiming that making some sort of claim i'm seeing that you're no longer fighting because you're moving forward and I see the reason why you're taking action towards this is because you're you were not happy in, in the place that you were you you didn't find fulfillment and you needed to move into a different direction the grass is greener on the other side for you and that's what you're moving towards here you could um, I'm seeing you feel very you could feel very passionate about this something that you feel very passionate about. So the person on your mind, they're being very defensive. This person is feeling as though, as if they've been attacked, um, that you have attacked them in some sort of way here. And they, they are definitely trying to defend themselves. They're trying to defend something. I'm seeing that this person is feeling like things are crumbling down and they're trying to fix it. They're trying to keep this tower up. But that doesn't that doesn't change the fact that there's already cracks. This foundation has already been cracked. Something serious has happened. Something major big has happened and they're trying to hold it up. So they're going through a major shakeup right now, a rude awakening here. In their energy, we have the snake, competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. So they feel like they need they, they need to look over their shoulder. Now they feel as though they've been um, backstabbed, betrayed. Um, this tower moment was for a necessary ending here, but they're they're resisting. They're not in a place of peace. They're not in a place of a of a peace state of mind. So they're they're definitely struggling over this, and they're trying to maintain something that has already crumbled. It's already been broken. Let's take a look at what could happen in the near future for you, Aries. Ace of Swords, breakthrough moment. You're about to, you're about to move towards a major, major, major breakthrough moment here, Aries, and it is a reward. It's what you've been waiting for, Eight of Discs. It's what you've worked so hard for. I'm seeing there's a lot that needs to be talked about. Somebody's communicating somebody's starting to communicate here um being really honest wanting to do the right thing the truth the truth is coming out here and karma is moving in your favor you're about to hit a major major breakthrough aries because karma is moving in your favor because of your integrity I see the beginning of a conversation here with somebody who who could be the one. And you're racing towards it. You're ready. Somebody's also been replaying events. Somebody in, in the next few weeks, somebody is thinking over and over about what has happened. Communication on putting in effort, wanting to make things work wanting to do what it takes not give up somebody's not ready to give up or is is wanting to work on this wanting to put in the effort towards making things uh, secure and stable and not giving up easy but literally right now 
we had the seven of pentacles or sorry seven of discs in this deck they're discs but moving forward we have the eight of discs so this is a very clear reward you're being rewarded it's a breakthrough moment for the time that you have waited so finally and it, it, it took a long time to get here this the, this news has t has been a long time coming you've waited Let's take a look at the outcome. The hangman. In the outcome, you're focusing on yourself. You're focusing on the relationship with your that you have with yourself. Your self-indulgence, focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. In the in the outcome, you're letting go of a situation and you're leaving it to God. If there's another timing, if there's another place if what's meant for you is meant for you it will come but in your outcome you're ready to let it go you're you're willing to do that um i see the end the death of a relationship ten of cups reverse because there's just no harmony um emotional harmony peace And it's because you're not taking action towards this person in the outcome. You're not taking action. You're not moving there. Um, I see ultimately you're enlightened. You're looking at things from a different perspective. And you're honestly not even going to be that hurt about it, to be honest. Because you're working on yourself. That your shadow self, the relationship, the relationship that you have with yourself, focusing on yourself. There's no heartbreak for you because your per whole perspective is changing here. You're becoming enlightened. I see you reaching a form of enlightenment. Major truths about the world that you're going to be seeing that is going to change your view on life itself like this is this is huge this is a huge awakening for you Aries Aries is about to become very very enlightened the person that's on your mind can be a blonde female or somebody who's a redhead or have light hair so we have money. You got money coming in. You have some money coming in from something that you have waited for or invested in seven months ago or years ago. Also, not only that, but you're about to meet the one union, a heart with a key. You're going to meet the one. So let's get a few more cards. Is there anything else that we should know for Aries? Not all these, but we did have one that flipped out. So let's take that. Too many cards, but I guess your guides have a lot to say here. So hold your vision. I'm hearing slow down. Your guides want you to slow down because you're you're moving with the Prince of, of Wands which is very fast, fiery energy. But when you think about fire, it can go out as fast as it turns on. So your guides are saying, slow down, wait, wait a bit. Expect powerful change. Expect changes. You're, you're about to, you're about to 
receive a huge, huge breakthrough for yourself, expect it. Meditate and contemplate on it. Through meditations, you'll receive clarity, information, downloads. In the past, you've been contemplating possibly a Pisces or you have Pisces in your chart. You've been contemplating things, wondering if it's worth it or not. You have a blue once in a blue moon opportunity. You're meeting the one. But Spirit is saying, slow down. What's for you is for you. This person will wait. But I definitely see you making a move. It's time to take action. New moon in Aries. That's you, Aries. You're about to take action. You're making a move towards someone. At the bottom of the deck, overall energy, prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. We have Taurus here. Prosperity lies ahead in a new beginning. You have a new beginning here. Literally, all of your cards, new moon, new moon, new moon, new moon. You have a whole new start, a whole new beginning with someone who is the one for you. With that being said, this is what I'm seeing. If it resonated, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you found some guidance or clarity, also let me know. Um, and if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Bye.